In this video, we're going to learn the difference between the int main function prototype and the int main void function prototype in C. So if our C program works with command line arguments, we'll have parameters like this in our main function, int argc and car star argv open bracket, close bracket, where these parameters are telling our main function how many command line arguments we have and what those arguments are. But if our program doesn't work with command line arguments, we can just have this, or we can have this. So what is the difference between the two of them and which one should we use? To explore this, let's first make some regular functions. We'll say here, void func1, and we'll leave the parameters blank. And here we'll just say printf func1 backslash n. Then we'll say void func2, and this time we'll have void instead of leaving the parameters blank, and we'll say printf func2 backslash n. Now let's try calling these functions with and without arguments. So for example, we'll call func1 without an argument and func2 without an argument. We'll save this. We'll compile our program. We'll run it and we get func1 and func2. So nothing too surprising so far. Now we'll try calling func1 with an argument. We'll say func1 and we'll give the argument abc. We'll save this and we'll try to compile our program. We'll get a warning here that we have too many arguments in call to func1. But if we run the program, it will work. We can call func1. Now let's try calling func2 with an argument. Here we'll say func2 and then the string abc as an argument. We'll save this. We'll try to compile our program now. Now we get an error. We have an error that there are too many arguments to function call, expected zero, have one. So now we have an actual error and we cannot compile and run the program. So placing void in the parameter list of our function makes it very explicit that we just cannot call the function with an argument. We'll actually get a compiler error if we even try to. If we just leave it blank, the worst that we might get is a warning if we try to call the function with an argument. So you might not know this, but in C, it's actually possible to call the main function. We could call it here. We'll comment out this line that's causing the current error, and we'll also comment out this line that's causing the current warning too. And here we'll call main. We'll say main with the string literal ABC as an argument, and we'll save this. And if we compile our program and run it, main is calling itself recursively. Now eventually the program is going to crash, but until it did, it was working okay. And we were calling main recursively and we we're supplying an argument and the compiler did not give us an error. If we said though, int main void, and now we save and try to compile our program, we'll get an error. So using void like this in place of our parameter list and our main function is generally considered a better practice than leaving it blank because we're making it very explicit that our main function should not be called with an argument to such a degree that the compiler will not even successfully compile our program if we do. Sometimes I definitely forget to put void here myself, but we should try to remember to put void here if our program will not be working with command line arguments. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.